Hello, my name is Catherine Moser. I am 18 years old and I have a 14 year old autistic brother. Um, having a sibling with autism has had many challenges and hardships, but most of all, it has been a major blessing in my life. And growing up with my little brother, it has made me into the strong person I am today. Um, when Andrew gives me random affection, like a hug or a kiss without me even asking for it, or um, just driving in the car and him talking about how he wants to come and live with me when I'm older and how he wants to go to college at the same college I want to, has just really been a big part of my life. Like, we've always talked about him moving in with me and just driving in the car, singing along to our favorite song by the Beach Boys, which is Kokomo, by the way. Um, that just brings joy to him and me. Um, this shows the truth of feelings because they are so literal when it comes to non-neurotypical people. Um, some of the challenges I have faced growing up with Andrew is um, some of my sports that I wanted to do or things I wanted to do I couldn't do because Andrew wouldn't be able to react to the sounds around him or the light or the noise would bother him. So uh, it's been a really hard life sometimes because I would have track or cross country meets and um, we would have they would have to leave early because he was having a hard time but he always showed up and cheered on for me and would scream my name at the top of his lungs just to know just let me know that he was there like that was our way of encouraging each other like if he was at his soccer games or baseball or even football games I would be there cheering him on and he is my number one fan, and I am his number one fan. Um, Andrew inspires me constantly. He's always there to cheer me on, no matter what I'm doing, whether it's like, have a great day at school, Kate, or I'll see you when you get home, Kate. Um, these little moments have motivated me to do more. About a year ago, this past summer, I was in a pretty bad car accident with my mom. Um, we were hit on my side, the passenger side, by an oncoming vehicle, and um, we flipped and spun a little bit. So I was dangling from the seatbelt for about almost a half an hour to an hour, and Andrew and my dad were at the Rendell house about a couple of blocks away, and Andrew, when he got to the the crash scene and he saw me dangling there it kind of freaked him out and when he got to the hospital he saw me still strapped onto the um, strapped onto the ambulance board and I was crying I was terrified because I could not feel my legs but um he held my hand he walked right over there I held my hand he was completely calm and um, just that little moment from then on, he has inspired me to be strong and he has made me the person I am today. He has, he's the reason why I push myself constantly, why I run, why I challenge myself in everything that I do. Normal teen hardships that a, um, sorry, uh, normal teen hardships that a neurotypical teen faces become diminish when you're a part of an autistic sibling's story. Um, these are just some of the trophies that Andrew has gotten over the years because he's seen me do so many sports growing up that, um, it's just become a part of how we connect to each other because we can't. There's some days when he'll just be silent and he won't talk and um, he has his bad days where he, he cries and I cry, but um, I think having an autistic sibling has been a very big blessing and I wouldn't trade it for a minute. 